My Catholic Roots is an online formation series sponsored by the Militia Immaculata, an ecclesial movement founded by St. Maximilian Kolbe. This week's topic is entitled, What is the Secret of Success? I seem like a failure. It is often easy to believe that our worth as people comes from how productive we are, how much money we have, or how attractive we appear. Under these circumstances, it would be impossible to ever succeed, since there will always be someone who works harder, earns more money, or appears more beautiful. In a sense, we consistently fail. However, in his last World Youth Day in 2002, the late Pope John Paul II said, We are not the sum of our weaknesses and failures. We are the sum of the Father's love for us and our real capacity to become the image of his Son. Thus, the late Pope indicates that our success must not be measured in the world's standards, but by heavenly ones. Well, the title of our talk is What is the Secret to Success? Sometimes I Feel Like a Failure. And that's an interesting topic. I wondered myself, what is the secret to success? And then I found a book about the basics of success. And I thought, ah, there's got to be an answer here. But when I opened the first pages, the author said, there are no secrets to success, or if there are, I don't know what they are. And then he mentioned how not everybody can achieve success. And once we have it, we can't guarantee that we're going to keep it. But as I pondered that, I thought, whoever said you have to be a success? Jesus said, that we must be holy, like God is holy. He said, learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. The greatest among you is he who serves. And Jesus himself was considered a failure. By the end of his life, the religious leaders of his time had rejected him. His own apostles and disciples abandoned him, one betrayed him, one denied him, one later doubted him. The people he fed miraculously in the desert all left him. Herod mocked him. Pilate had him punished for being innocent. The soldiers made fun of him. He was crucified between two thieves. So success was not the important thing that he came to teach us, but it was to be holy. And holiness is living in God's will. Living in God's will has two aspects. It's like the two sides of the miraculous metal. The front of the metal, he takes the active side doing what God wants. The back of the middle depicts the passive aspect, wanting what God does. Doing what God wants and wanting what God does. The active phase involves our, our charity, our, our obedience, our apostolic activities, all the things we, we do in our daily lives, our duties, the things that we do for God specifically. And the back is concerned with the things that happen to us that we can't do anything about, the sufferings in our life, that we must simply accept and unite with the sufferings of Jesus. So holiness is doing what God wants and wanting what God does. And the virtues that I think are really most important for us to practice so that we will be holy are humility. And as I said, Jesus told us, learn from me, for I am meek and humble in heart. And there's no virtue of any kind without the virtue of humility first. The second is obedience. Jesus was obedient 
unto death. That I come to do your will. And he gave his life doing the will of his father. He gave it out of love for us. And then, love. Love and holiness are the same thing. I remember a, a little child telling me once that at the moment of the of Jesus' death on the cross, it was the moment of his greatest love. He said he was on fire with love at that moment. And his love pleased the Father more than all of our sins displeased us. And God calls us to love. And the whole thing is all wrapped up in our yes to God. It was by her yes to God that our Blessed Mother brought God down to earth for us. And we must say yes to God. And this is what makes all of us holy. And as a French writer, Leon Broy, once said, the only tragedy is not to be a saint. So, be saint. Be holy. And don't worry about success. God bless you.